I just upgraded my print farm to the Bamboo Lab H2C. Why did I upgrade and why did I choose the H2C? My name is Mick, you'll find out on the 3D Printing Zone. I've been 3D printing since 2017 and have just crossed owning over 40 different 3D printers. Six months ago, we decided to start a 3D print farm. Not only do we get printers sent to us through sponsorships, but we also go out and buy the latest and greatest so that we can test it ourselves. We've learned a lot over the past six months. Business is so good that we need to buy more printers. Which brings me to the first question, why upgrade our 3D print farm? A lot of the products we sell are to the Sweet Bath Co. If you take a look at their website, in December of 2025, you'll see they have a lot of out of stock items. Part of that is our fault. We just can't print fast enough. So we need to upgrade our print farm. We need to buy more printers or faster printers or maybe a little bit of both. When looking at upgrading our 3D print farm, we had three things in mind. We need to print faster, we need to print quietly, and we want to eliminate waste. Most of the products we sell are multicolor. So when we talk about the waste section, we'll talk about ways that you can eliminate it and the H2C being one of those big ways. Once we decided to start a 3D print farm, it was time to think about how we're going to stack these printers. They are very tall. I knew we needed around 35 to 40 inches between shelves to accommodate for the printer and the AMS system and allowing it to open and close. So we landed on this one from Home Depot. It can carry thousands of pounds and it's so easy to set up. There's no screws required. You simply just put one piece in at a time and it snaps into place. When building this shelf and placing it, I chose to move it two feet from the back so that I can have space to go back there and change out the filament waste or maybe it needs to have a belt tightened. Just having access to the back is very helpful. Which brings us to the second question at the beginning of the video. Why go with H2C? With our first first goal, increasing speed or production speed, we knew that buying more printers meant we'd be able to increase production and produce items faster. As we were thinking about which printer would be the best and from which company, we love Bamboo Lab. We also really like Chidi and Anycubic. We haven't tried the Prusa multicolor printers yet. That was another option. Most of the things we print are five to eight colors, which means we can't use Snapmaker U1. We can't use the Prusa XL. That comes with five colors the Snapmaker has four. As I'm making this video, maybe in the future they'll have more. But that eliminated both of those. But what about the Prusa INDX, the new setup they just came out with at the end of 2025? Why not use eight heads, all multiple colors? Well, the first reason is it's not available yet. We are so behind on what we're trying to print right now. We needed printers today, and I haven't had time to get one of those eight colored, eight nozzle, eight head printers, nor have I had time to test it if I even had one. We got the HTC a couple months ago. It's been amazing. We rely on it. We know it works. So why not add more of them? We've tested a few Anycubic printers. We have the Anycubic Cobra 3 V2 and the S1 Cobra. Those are both great printers, but they aren't reliable enough. We've had fail after fail. We've had a lot of successful prints as well, but when it comes to a print farm, fails just aren't an option. Going with Bamboo Lab ensures quality and predictability. I hardly ever have fails. Knock on wood. This printer right here, this H2C, that was the first one that Bamboo Lab sent us to make the H2C release video. We've put 700 hours on that printer so far, and I have had zero zero fails. It has just worked so well. The bed has stuck so well. I know people complain about the heating element not heating the bed evenly, but this one is the one that has 67 little tiny derpies and every single time those print perfectly. We need to talk about that a little bit. Each of these tiny derpies has six contact points on the bed. That means there are 402 separate little pieces on a print bed. Again, I have not had a fail. We're at 700 hours. Having that printer and and being able to run it for over a month really helped us in making this decision of upgrading all of our printers to H2Cs. Let's look at the second thing we need to keep in mind when we're upgrading our print farm, and that is the noise. This print farm, these printers, they're just in my basement. I have kids, I have a spouse. We need to keep the noise levels down so that when we're sleeping at night, it's not just a bunch of whining and complaining from the printers, not from the kids. And we wanna make sure it's not too loud or disruptive. This happens to be my office 
office as well. I have a day job. YouTube is kind of my side thing, the same as the 3D print farm for now. So when I'm on calls during the day, I can't have a bunch of printers making a lot of noise and just being distracting to me, to my customers, and to other employees on calls. There are eight printers running behind me right now. The top four are H2C, this one is an H2C, and then the two behind me are H2Ds and H2S. So the rack itself has eight H series printers with five of those being H2C. Listen how loud they are right now. This is the loudest it gets right here. The microphone might not be picking this up, so I'm gonna show you the dB range, and it's just, it's it's crazy. It's averaging around 49 to 50 dB, which is perfectly quiet for calls. That's like a, a low fan running. And there's eight of them, that's just, it really is wild. We've done a few videos where we compared the P2S to the X1 Carbon and the P1S, and I can tell you right now, these are the most quiet printers I've ever owned. And that brings us to our third goal, eliminating waste. When it comes to waste, the H2C wastes hardly anything at all. The only time it's purging filament is when you're putting in a new color of filament and it needs to push out the old color. But once that new filament is in its nozzle, it's good to go. I printed off these small poop shoots. They're so nice, they're so easy, they just snap snap in place with some magnets. I'll put a link to the description. You can print them for free. You might be thinking, that's a small poop shoot. This is what I used to have. It was a lot bigger. It could hold a lot more. But as of now, when you look at these printers and you look at the back of them, this poop shoot right here, the material in there has built up over a whole week. One week and that's how much is inside, which is just crazy. I used to fill up a bucket like this every single day, which is another reason why we're just looking forward to using the H2C farm we're not wasting as much filament as we used to. Something else I should mention about these printers is they take up a lot of energy. If I plugged all eight of these into my 15 amp outlet, I would probably trip the breaker. I wanted to make sure that never happened, so I wired two 20 amps, four for the top shelf, four for the bottom shelf, and so far I could start all eight printers at the same time where they're using the most energy heating up the beds, and I haven't had any tripped breakers or any issues at all. I'm not an electrician. I can't tell you exactly how much power you should put behind each of these printers. They have the power specifications on their website, but it's good to know if you put four of these on a 20 amp, start them all at the same time, in my experience, it doesn't trip the breaker. Something I love about the H series printers is the progress bar on the bed. Just from a glance, I can see which printers need my attention. You know, those three that are blinking with their beds blinking, and then which ones are finished. You can see the green progress bar completed up here in this top one. And then you can see this one is almost done. Progress bar is getting close, same as the one on the top right. From a glance, I can check on eight printers and easily see with that progress, which ones are almost done and which ones have issues. Now we still have some H series that are not upgraded yet. We have two H2Ds and this one on the corner is the H2S, but we will upgrade those as soon as that kit is available. So make sure to look out for that video. We'll talk about how hard it is. I mean, you have to switch out the bed, you have to switch out the head in some cases. So we'll let you know if it's really difficult, if it's worth it, or if you better just stick to the H2D or to the H2S. And there you go. We upgraded our print farm because we couldn't print fast enough. We chose the H2C because of the noise, the speed, the quality, the predictability of just printing out good products every single time. It also eliminates waste, and because it's wasting less, it's printing faster, and it just does such a good job. When we decided we're going to upgrade our print farm to the H2C print farm, we went online and we realized you can only purchase one per household. So I reached out to Bamboo Lab. I told them we are planning on purchasing a whole rack of 3D printers, the H2C. We're wondering if you could help us get those available to us. To our surprise, not only did they make them available, but decided to sponsor us for the purpose of making this video and to just get the word out there that these are workhorses. They are the very best. I couldn't recommend a better printer. It is the top of the line, our very favorite printer. And if you'd like to pick one up, we put a description down below. If you want to learn more about them, go ahead and check out this video. <laughs>